Hey guys, it's Gina and I am going to scrapbook a layout today of this photo of my in-laws. That's my father-in-law, my mother-in-law, obviously. And this was on their wedding day 46 years ago, if you can believe it. And they are super cute. Um, still very much in love. Look at how she's looking at him. Now she just gives him a lot of dirty looks, but the love is still there. Um, and I have stopped, um, what was I gonna say? So I've stopped keeping track of every little thing that I use on a layout. It was making my organization in my room a bit crazy, like to try to keep everything in their packages and so I know who made what and all of that. It's it's just gotten beyond ridiculous. I, I really can't do that anymore. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to start my videos by telling you some of the things that I pulled out. And um, if I remember the manufacturer, we'll go through it there, but I'm not gonna keep full supply lists for my layouts anymore. But um, I'd like your feedback about that. If you um, prefer that you have the full supply list, uh, I'd uh, let me know. And um, if you you know don't care, <laughs> let me know that too. Because uh, one of the things that I'm gonna do going forward, and I think I mentioned this in one of my last videos is I'm gonna stop buying new supplies for a while. So even if I kept track of every little thing I used on a layout, the chances that they're gonna still be available uh, is not gonna be good because I'm hoping that I'm gonna use up a lot of my old supplies in the next year. And I hope that doesn't change, um, you know, you watching the videos or whatever. I know that a lot of people like seeing the new stuff, but uh, if you saw my room, you would understand that uh, Gina doesn't need any new stuff. So uh, what am I going to start with? So I told you about the picture. I have this black and white collection from Glitz and I bought this to scrapbook Stu and my wedding and uh, I haven't scrapbooked not one photo from that event and so I thought well this is a wedding photo and maybe this time I'll get some use out of it. I don't know there's something just very elegant to me about black and white and wedding photos. I, I don't know what it is but I, I really really like it. So I um, have this collection and the, the way the Glitz collection works is you get two sheets of every paper and they're back and forth so, so like even though, so like you get two of these, but then you also have the back of this, which is different. So obviously, um, and I'm not, I'm not sure uh, what the color scheme is that I'm going to do. I'm just going to show you these papers real quick. Love that. That wood green is super cute. Um, let's see. So I have this, and then this other side is these XOs, XOs, which is kind of glaring on the eye. Um, and this, look at that one singular red strip there that is I really like that see that and then you have the gray on the other side and then here are some like scribbled roses or flowers and then they have the one red one which I like and then there's this nice black and then you have the letter stickers which I don't think I'm gonna use and these stickers here I don't know that I'm gonna use the letter stickers because I pulled out these letter stickers and I don't know who made them but I've had them for a long time I I'm pretty sure they're Heidi Swap. Um, I've had them for a long time and I thought that I would use these um, because I'm trying to do like, I wanna do a monochromatic kind of black and white and I don't need the title to stick out so much. I really want the focus to be on that photo. So, and I don't even know what the title is gonna be yet. So there we go. I have this collection of little die cuts and things that uh, I don't know, it's been in here forever. And uh, like here, look at this, making memories. There is no, um, I, I think I cut it off, but uh, so there's no uh, date on it, but seriously guys, that is super, super duper old, but I think I'm gonna use that. Um, it came with this white one as well, um, but just a lot of little love, like here's a little heart stuff. Here's a little pink love. That might be cute, see that? Love, I don't know. And then there goes my monochromatic, right? Oh, these are cute, I might pull those out. Uh, this one says kisses. It's a little die cut. Uh, this one says I love you. This has got this heart. So cute little things like that. I don't know. And then I've got my letters I told you about. I pulled out some stamps. Uh, this is from which side am I going to use? Let's see. Which one was I looking at? I really liked this one that said soulmates. Uh, and these on the back are Hampton Arts Hugs and Kisses, these stamps here. And this says Our Wedding. This is a little heart with a line you could use for journaling. Uh, but I really like this one that said soulmates. 
and um, our love story. There's a one. This is our love story. So I don't know. We might use some stamps. And then I have some heart doilies, both in red. I think I bought these at like oh I couldn't have bought them at the dollar store because look it says a dollar ninety nine. But they're from 2014. So that's not too old. But there's some white ones and I have some red ones as well. And then the whole point of this layout is to use this die cut. Let me move this stuff out of the way because we're going to have to color this die cut up. I cut all of my, you guys have heard me say this a million times, but I cut all of my silhouette die cuts out with uh, white American Crafts cardstock. And then I color them afterwards. And the point of this layout, uh, this is the September chal uh, October challenge for uh, Remember Every Day. And uh, so it's Use Your Silhouette. This is the challenge. So this is the die cut that I use, that I pulled with that photo. And uh, I'm, I'm, I don't know where I'm going, but um, I'm gonna put you on fast forward. Oh, I also have these, sorry. Giant rhinestones from that same Glitz collection. And then I pulled this Heidi Swap stencil uh, with these little, if you can see the hearts right there. So. Now we're gonna get started. I'm gonna put you guys on fast forward and um, hopefully we'll get a layout out of this. Thank you guys for watching. Hey guys, it's Gina. So I'm going to start with this die cut that I got from the Silhouette store. And I am going to, I thought I was gonna use gelatos to color it in. And then I decided that I would use sprays. And so you can see all of my mist. I have two containers like that that, is, that are filled with mist. And in this process, I'm going to find out that I don't use my mists enough because every mist that I pulled out, um, most of them anyway, are clogged. So I'm going to have to figure out uh, what to do about that. But um, I'm going to pull out some Heidi Swap and some Mr. Hueys. Uh, they're my two favorite mists, I think. Um, I have some other types of mist, but I don't use them as often. Uh, I bought some mist from the Lindy Stamp Gang, but I have yet to add water to them because I'm nervous. <laughs> um, I don't want to mess it up, so uh, I have to I have to work on that. But you're going to see here uh, that. So that color wasn't what I wanted. And then I'm going to play with this because like every one of them, I didn't want the tree to be, uh, what's the word? Black. I wanted the tree to be gray because I'm going to make the owls black. Uh, and I just could not um, get any of my mist to work. So it was very annoying. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, my heat gun, my heat tool, and I'm going to dry this up because I'm impatient and I can't wait for it to dry on its own. And I'm getting my hands filthy. I hate that, but that's the way it goes sometimes. So here are my owls and I am going to try to make these black, but I cannot get this uh, black from Mr. Huey's to work either. So I'm going to pull another one. This is a uh, Heidi Swap. This is her black and I'm going to use this one. And it didn't work very well at first either. I had to spray it a couple times and then it finally went and it's still kind of, you know, it's very frustrating. You see, I'm kind of hitting the table there. I'm very frustrated. Uh, I guess this is just telling me that I need to use my mist more or I'm storing them wrong. Like I store them upright and I shake them like a bell, you know, and not up and down. So I don't really know what's going on with that. But most of the sprayers, that I, and I mean, I've had my, my mist a long time, but I don't, I just don't know. The red worked just fine. It was all the blacks and the grays and silvers that were not working. So I'm going to have to look and fix that. But I sprayed the hearts red. And this is part of the reason why I die cut all of my silhouette die cuts on white cardstock. Because I don't have the patience. That camera angle is way wrong. You can see way too much of me in that. And, and I think the video is going to be messed up anyway because I was playing with my settings in Premiere Pro. <sighs> I need to just leave it alone, you know. But that's the way it goes. And I have to get this video to Shelly. So it's just going to, if if there's if this looks weird when I render it, that's just the way it's going to be. So I'm using this Glitz paper. And I found this banner. I think it's from Teresa Collins. And... I'm going to use that. I really like the way that captured looks, but I'm... Actually, that looked pretty good. I could have actually kept it that way, but I'm going to move this all around, and then I'm going to decide that the tree is backwards. I don't like it coming from the left-hand side of the layout, so I'm going to flip the tree around. But I'm going to go down this road for quite a ways, and then I'm going to backtrack and see what I feel about... Uh, this layout because I'm, I'm gonna play around with it. I can't I can't get it right I'm struggling really badly with my layouts right now. I Don't know why and I don't exactly know where I am at the moment 
in this well, I'll just tell you my, oh, I'm back. I'll just tell you my problems. Oh, I was looking for other uh, banners. That's what I was doing. But um, I'm just struggling with layouts lately. I think, I, I don't know. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, trying to get inspired. Uh, I have a couple of new people that I'm following that I really like. I cannot remember their name. One is Scrapping, I think her name is Scrapping Rooster. Her name is Gretchen. She's fabulous. I love her. And uh, there's a couple of others that uh, I'm newly following. So very inspiring. But when I sit down to do my own layouts, I'm, I'm struggling. I don't know what's going on. So uh, I'll have to see what I'm going to do. See, there's where I decide that the tree needs to go the other way. I don't know why. It looked just fine the other way, but like I said, I'm just struggling with every decision that I make as far as putting a page together, and it's been like this for a long time. I don't know. It's like been a year since I felt like comfortable scrapbooking, and I don't know if it's because so much time passes in between doing projects or what, but it's driving me bonkers. I, I don't know. It's feeling very tortured, and when you see my uh, layout for the next challenge, oh, ugh guys. It's just feeling very tortured to me. So I'm playing around with uh, how I'm going to embellish and lay out this page. And looking at it now, I should have kept the tree the other way. But oh well, we live and learn and it's done now. And I was, I I'm kind of happy with the way this one turned out, but it's still like not feeling like me. Uh, not feeling like my normal just uh, you know, easy, I won't say scrapbooking is ever easy for me, uh, but I seem to get in a rhythm sometimes and, and can scrapbook pretty rapidly. Like, this layout took me an hour and 30 minutes. Layouts do not take me that long. Like, 45 minutes is typically my limit. And as you can see, I'm just, I'm, I'm gone again. I'm out looking for stuff. To, and maybe it's because my room is a mess. That could be it. Like, I have supplies everywhere, and uh, I just really want a scrapbook, and I don't want to clean. So I've been sort of just, um, I'm going to have to entertain you with my voice right now, because I don't know where I went in this video. I should have watched this and cut all this dead time out, and I apologize for not doing that. Oh, I went to look for embellishments. Very good. I decided I wanted to use one of the cards on this glitz paper, and it says, let us make our own fairy tale. And I'm actually going to cut it on the wrong side, the opposite side of where the, uh, for the first cut, because typically when it's all white, you know, it's white on white between the two different cards, it's hard to find where that blade has to come down. So I try to cut it on a side where it's like two different colors next to each other. Unfortunately, the cards... Uh, or, uh, vertically next to each other were white on both sides. So that, that was kind of a problem. But um, I'm going to cut this paper down and uh, I'm going to gut it because I'm going to use it as the mat for my photo. And I thought about using, um, yeah, that's the paper I am going to use as my background. So I'm going to put that little um, edge around my layout with that black paper. And I'm going to ink the edges here in, in black soot distressing from Tim Holtz and uh, then I'm going to add this paper I love that wood grain too but I didn't think it fit with this but I could have cut that tree out of that wood grain huh maybe I should think about these things before I cut them so I'm going to cut this captured off because now that I turned the tree around it's not going across the layout the way I want it to and I wanted to use this uh, sparkly banner but I don't know why I decided, oh, because it's scalloped on one side, and I didn't like the scallops, so I'm going to actually go and pull some glitz glitter tape uh, after I figure out that this banner is not going to work with the the scallops. So that's where I'm off to now. I'm going to go get glitter tape. There we go. Oh, it's my mind's eye, actually. It's not even glitz. I own them both. This is, uh, I thought about using this, um, that, let me finish one thought. The washi tape, uh, I actually um, never used that my mind's eye washi tape this is the first time so but I have the glitz in that uh, silver glitter as well so I'm gonna add this tree and I thought I was gonna use that horizontal paper you can see it laying there down on the right hand side with the red stripe I really like that just that hint of red but I, cu I couldn't get it to work I'm gonna put these little this is gonna take forever another thing I should have cut out but I'm gonna put these owls up on pop dots and because the center of the owls like tummy is cu you know cut out in little like half moons I have to be very careful of where I'm putting the adhesive because I don't want and I don't want you to be able to see the adhesive through those 
little cutouts in the middle of the owl. So I have to be very selective here about where I'm going to put this adhesive. So this is going to take me forever because you know I have to put adhesive all over the whole thing and I have to hide the adhesive from all these holes. So this is very annoying. It was annoying to do it and now I get to relive that annoyance by watching it. I got to learn how to turn that tape recorder off. You know what I mean? I need to turn the video camera off when I'm doing these sort of things. Oh, the other person I found on YouTube. Guys, Sue's Fish. You've got to check her out. She makes the most gorgeous layouts. I mean, I love these two. Uh, Gretchen, who is uh, Scrappy Rooster, and Sue's Fish, who is actually on the hip... I think she's on the Hip Kit Club. No, is it Hip Kit Club she's on the design team for? No, it's one of the other ones, I think. I don't know, but she's on a design team. She is fantastic. I love her personality. Both of them. I love their personalities. I could listen to Gretchen talk all day. And um, Sue's Fish, like, she's just... She's just so cute. So anyway, those are the two people uh, that I started following recently that you guys uh, should... I still have my favorites, and I still watch all of them. But uh, those two are my new favorites. So now I'm putting these hearts down. These hearts came as part of that die cut. So it was the tree, the two owls, and those hearts. And like I said, I cut it out on white uh, cardstock, and then that way I can color it any way I wanted. Any way I want. So I, there is a little lady in the back, and I'm sure my father-in-law knows who it is, but if you saw the photo before I put that 3x4 card on there, um, there's a woman uh, off to the right-hand side of my, my father-in-law there, and uh, I didn't want her, there she is, can you see her? I didn't want her in the photo, like on the layout, so I had to figure out a way to cover her up. Uh, I tried to crop her out of the photo altogether, but then because my father-in-law is so tall, it made the picture look weird. So uh, I'm going to use that card that says let us make our own fairy tale to kind of cover her up. I'm sure she's sweet and I'm sure my my you know father-in-law loved her and uh, my father-in-law loved her or my mother-in-law I'm not sure. I'm not I don't know who she is, but uh, I didn't want her in my picture. <laughs> Here's where I try to use that striped paper and then I decide no, it's not going to happen. But I am kind of liking the way this is coming together. I really love that banner that I used. It's another Teresa Collins banner. And it's got like little phrases on it, like one, you know, one of the little banners says memories, another one says times, another one says love. I just love that little banner detail. And the reason I put the stripes across the paper, uh, the glitter tape, and then that banner, I didn't want the tree floating. I wanted the tree branches up near the top of the layout, but I didn't want the bottom of the tree floating. So I needed to make sure that that was grounded somehow so I used that glitter tape across the layout to do that I have got to fix that camera you guys cannot be looking at my head thankfully on this day I actually like did something to my hair and I'm actually dressed you can actually see um in the next layout that I'm gonna I'm gonna post I'm wearing my Oscar the Grouch pajamas and I wear them a lot <laughs> They're, they've replaced I, I don't know if, if you've been um, I'm, I'm just matting this photo here but if you've been on my, watching my channel for a long time I used to scrapbook in these uh, red and white polka dot pajamas unfortunately I dyed my hair once and I got dye all over them so I had to throw them away uh, but now I have these Oscar the Grouch pajamas that are they're like a one piece uh, you know they, they're almost footy pajamas but they don't have feet in them uh, but they do have a hood and Oscar's eyes inside. They're fantastic. I love them. But uh, so you're going to see these lime green arms in a while because I scrapbook them because they're warm and it's so cold in my room. So uh, you're going to see them in a while. Uh, I'm going to put this uh, little captured banner down with some adhesive. I could not find. Part of the other problem I'm having is I took a bunch of scrapbooking supplies to Myrtle Beach when uh, we went. I didn't use not one of them. Like, I, I didn't even, I, I opened them all up, and I reorganized them all, but I never scrapbooked while I was in Myrtle Beach, ever. So, a lot of the stuff that I usually use when I scrapbook is in that package. Uh, but I went and I bought, like, I'm, I'm going to try to start going to crops. This is one of the things I'm challenging myself to do. Uh, so, I want, I bought all duplicate stuff so I could keep all my travel stuff together and I'm only going to do like project life at crops I've decided like project life and my list for listers got a list and stuff like that but no like 12 by 12 scrapbooking because I I need my stuff to do that uh, but I really um, 
I'm going to make myself go to crops. We'll see. But I did replace now everything at my desk so that uh, I will have my tape, you know, my long, uh, what do you call it, uh, dimensional adhesive and stuff like that. Because this I used um, uh, Stampin' Up, you know, uh, Stampin' Dimensionals and... I don't want to use that across a, a long banner like Captured. I use these. I think they're from KI Memories. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't keep a supply list anymore, so I don't know who makes what. It's They're very old. Uh, but Sweet Happy Moments, I really liked at the bottom there. And then that love. And I was trying to figure out what I was going to title this. And I was going to use these pink paisley i love these these are gorgeous like these letters are gorgeous but they're not going to fit so i thought at first that i would call this you and me and and that's not going to fit anywhere on this layout those letters are too big but they're fantastic but they're too big so i ditched that idea after finding all the letters of course i ditched that idea and i'm actually going to go to that glitz collection they had they came with a uh i'm going to steal a little phrase here that says i love this day from this little set of i think they're from cosmo cricket a uh, little set of uh they're like those label makers you know the ones where you have to turn the dial to get each they're like that they're fantastic i love them but the glitz, there we go, the glitz uh, kit that I used to make this layout came with letter stickers as well. So I'm actually going to use those, and I let go of the you and me idea, and I'm going to call this always by my side. And I'm just trying to figure out here, there's a you and me in circles on that die cut page right there that I really was going to try to use, but it didn't work. And now I'm looking at these little chipboard hearts and I'm gonna scatter them around to bring the to bring the hearts down because right now they're just a, at the top and I'm actually gonna go get some other hearts some epoxy hearts as well and use them on the layout but that'll be in a bit um, this is actually a very long video I don't know why because well, I was going away from I mean it's tortured how long is this oh my god 26 minutes guys I'm so sorry 26 minutes yikes um not good, you know. I, I don't know if you're going to even listen to me for 26 minutes, but if you are, great. Um, I don't know. Uh, I use these tickets here. That's another one of those banner pieces, and I'm just trying to figure out where I want them just to kind of fill in that little bit of blank space that's on the left-hand side of the layout there. And here I'm going to put down these hearts with some glue dots, and they're too big. The glue dots are too big because my mini ones were in my scrapbooking crop bag and I thought about putting these tickets on the other side but then I didn't like that so much and I'm still I still haven't done the title but the title is going to be always by my side I thought about putting these pink paisley stickers on there but then I thought they looked atrocious so I decided no nah, we're not doing that I really wanted to use this frame like I said in the intro part of this video I really wanted to use this frame but I can't figure out how to make the frame work so I just, I'm going to use this epoxy, it's not epoxy, it's plastic, it's it's kind of plastic, uh, love, and it kind of looks like when you go to Philadelphia, they have the sculpture of that love, like it kind of looks like that, and mom and dad live close to Philly, so it kind of worked, I'm going to use glossy, oh, we have to fix that camera, um, I used glossy accent on the back of it, and covered the whole back of it with glossy accents in a, in a attempt so that you didn't see the adhesive behind it, so... That's what I did there. Now, I have that basket on my desk of stuff that I just throw in the basket. And I thought that I would maybe try to use some of that. I thought about using these little plastic stickers. These are ghost stickers, I think, from Heidi Swap. Uh, letter, I mean, and I didn't like them. And then I'm going to think about using the red font on this glitz. I didn't like them either. So I'm going to end up using the black font, and I'm going to spell out here always by my side and then at the bottom of that of, of that sticker sheet there are a couple of words and um their little block letter their little blocks words and uh it's there were there, the words were you and me together forever and i'm also going to put that on the bottom of the layout as well after i finish this uh after i finish putting all of my stickers on there exciting isn't it <laughs> so always by my side and then I'm going to use those word stickers I don't know if I do it right away who knows who knows what I'm doing 
I don't know, like I said, scrapbooking these days is a tortured experience for me. So here they are. It says, uh, you and me together forever. And then there was a little heart in a square down there. So just to balance out that black and white and red, I put that. And now I think I'm going to, I color these little hearts in with my Winka Stella pen to give them some glitter because I have the, the chipboard hearts that I put on this layout are glitter. And then... I had that glitter uh, tape running across it, so I thought it needed a little bit more shimmer and shine up there. So I used my Winka Stella pen and put those up there. And now I'm going to, this Sharpie drove me bonkers. It's somehow the, the tip of the Sharpie cracked. What a pain. My, probably because my kids, you know, I let my kids down here and let them use it. And they color with Sharpies. God help me. So, uh... That Sharpie went in the garbage. And now I'm journaling with this very uncomfortable Martha Stewart pen. I love the pens for outlining and stuff. I hate them for journaling. They're too thick. And I don't know, because here again, because my journaling pens were in my crop bag. And I didn't feel like I can get them. I was lazy. So that's why we have this obnoxious red journaling. Because I didn't go get my crop bag. Because I normally use Stedler... Uh, Stedler Tri Plus Fine Liners to journal. Not here. So I'm going to add little hearts to these um, owls. And Stu and I had the same thought that we should add googly eyes to them. And I thought that was hysterical. And I almost did it. But uh, it's kind of it's kind of a serious layout. But I swear I would have done that. So that is it. Um, no picture of this one. It's raining outside and I cannot take a picture. But it will be on the website. And um, if you have any questions, you can leave them below. I will talk to you later. Hope you guys are having a good day. Bye-bye.